the first piece, which is called Clan Seeker. Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to share about it? Um, in 1992, I was asked to be the featured artist for the Tulsa Indian Art Festival. So um, they said that they were going to need a painting to, for their auction. They asked that of all the featured artists, and I said, oh, okay. Then I started thinking and thinking about because it, they said they were going to make a poster. And I said, oh, my. And I said, well, I better really do something <laughs> really different and really cool, you know. And so I started working on it. And as I was drawing his face, I immediately saw um, in the 80s, I early 80s, I did a lot of paintings of uh, landscapes in feathers. So I thought, well, in his fan, I'll put um, a little landscape in there. And then I thought, and then I thought he needed some horses. So I put some horses in and then just kept going from there. And I was, and like I say, when I'm doing my work, I like to, I like to put myself there, you know, where they're at and what, uh, you know, this is a, um, this is a proud warrior, you know, and he's showing you, we're showing, I'm depicting a little bit of his home and his thoughts and his feathers, you know, his favorite ponies. And, you know, with the clans are very important in the Osage tribe, you know, and we're, we uh, still hold naming ceremonies and we still keep up the tradition of passing these names down. Uh, my name is Papa Sansei, and so we, at, and I'm of the deer clan, so we try to, the names come from every aspect of the deer, each name. And I'm always intrigued with that uh, whole, um, the clan system. So I did a lot of research on, uh, we have um, Sky Clan and Earth Clans, and so this, this warrior, when uh, when the sky people and the earth people and our creation myth um, came down and met together and joined each other, they sent sent different ones out to find out the clans and to um, look at all the things around them, the environment, you know, the animals, and then decide on one that they thought would best suited them, and so. This is the, why I call this Clan Seeker because he went out. Um, he was one of the ones that went out and searched out um, the different clans, and that's why they're depicted in black and white because he hasn't brought them over to our world yet. So we have birds, the sun, stars, thunderclouds, lightning, buffalo, turtle. Fish. And I thought there was, yeah, that's about all of them kind of in there. So I, this was the first one of a series of the signed and numbered prints that I did, and um, along with the art market, they helped publish them. Okay. And so uh, it was one of the best um, selling posters that the Tulsa Indian Art Festival had, and. Set a record. <laughs> yes, I think it's at a record. They also um, made some signed and numbered prints of it. Cool. So that was nice. But it belongs to uh, my dear friend and brother, uh, Dr. Tinker. And that was the first time that I had met him is when he came to the auction and he bought this piece. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, over the years, our families have, oh, we've ate together, we've you know, Elonchka dances, and um, they've joined our uh, Native American church, and, you know, the Tinker family's been um, right alongside with the Gray family. We've all become very close, and um, he was nice enough to lend me this, a few of my works uh, so that I'd have cool. something to show. <laughs>